y'all be all up in my business and yes i have a double chin mm -hmm. girl it's time to reclaim our joy our happiness y'all see what i did to my hair i did like a two uh what is it uh, uh like a flat twist like a band i made my i did a flat twist around my perimeter to kind of give it like the look of a band and then my hair is in a um i did a wash and go yesterday so it's still like in that state this week has been very heavy for me Oh my goodness, I look so ashy. Let me turn down the brightness a little bit so I don't look so ashy. <laughs> I feel like if I turn down the brightness, maybe it'll give me a little moisturizer. But truth be told, y'all, I have been sobbing. I've been sobbing and crying my eyes out. This week has been a long week. And y'all forgive me. I'm probably not going to look at you as much. I know I shouldn't be over here. Well, I, I know I probably should be filming this at home. Um, but I feel like I'm in a pretty safe space. I'm at a grocery store. It's pretty lit over here. I've just been on a drive. Um, this week has been very, very challenging for me. Uh, just to kind of bring you all up to speed. I know that I'm starting to get into the rhythm of filming content. Like I feel like you all will have a lot of information for me that other platforms won't. I'm able to open up more to you all because it's long form content. It's not a short 15, 30 second video. This allows me to be more transparent, to be more open with you and give you some context. So in short, a lot of you don't know this, but my full time work was mortgage loan officer. So I used to sell mortgages. Essentially, I um, help families and individuals be able to obtain a mortgage so that they can buy a house which i absolutely enjoyed i loved it i was very passionate about it but being that i am a mother and a wife and i have a family and small children at that my time with my family is very precious to me and i feel like right now while my children are small and, 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 you know, they're growing, my son is five and my daughter is one and she'll be two this year. And then Kai, he'll be six this year. These are very critical years, I feel, and I don't want to take those for granted. And I just felt like being in the mortgage, being a, mor a mortgage loan officer, this business, that business is 24 seven. It does not sleep. And I just can I could not keep up with the demands of work and also being the best mother and wife to my family. I really felt like my cup was spilling over and I was just giving my family what was left of me and that's not fair. And I don't want to get so far in life to look back and regret these days because I was trying to which there's nothing wrong with providing for your family. But because I have a very supportive husband, it really didn't, it didn't require, it doesn't require that I have to devote all this time to this business, you know, and that's the other thing. It's a self-generating business. So I had to generate my own leads. Now, granted, there are, there are positions where you can um, receive leads, um, but I always did the 100%, you know, self-generation because I found it more fruitful, beneficial, 
and it was just rewarding all around so i made a hard decision which i have been pondering over this decision for the last year and a half and i finally made a decision to just go ahead and cut the cord and i'm not going to say i called it quits but right now i put it on pause uh-huh and so I said, I'm going to give myself some time to focus on my family, focus on myself because mentally it was becoming exhausting and I was becoming anxious and stressed and I don't want to feel that way and I don't want to live my life that way. I like to be a very happy, optimistic person, but with the real estate market being up and down and trying to provide for a family at the same time and your business is 100% self-generated and you're 100% commission that is very stressful ultimately i still do not mind working in the mortgage space but i rather be on the end where i support the mortgage loan officers so what that looks like is being an assistant or i can be a processor or i can move into underwriting things of that nature um, but i wanted to step back from sales just take a breather but on top of that being at home full time is a privilege but it's, it's a huge responsibility you're working around the clock a lot I know as I'm a mother so those are my responsibilities but what I'm saying is sometimes I miss the days where I was able to punch in and punch out a clock you know leave home go to work and then come back home and it's crazy because the irony of it is when I was punching in and out of a clock I was missing being at home with my children. So it's just goes to show you that for me, like it's human nature that you're just not going to be completely satisfied. You have to take the good with the bad. You're just going to have to find a way to compromise. And so for me, my compromise looks like me staying at home with the children. Now I am looking, actively looking for full-time remote work I'll even do hybrid if the price is right I'll even come in the office but ultimately I would love to find some remote work because I'm already used to working from home and then of course you know we'll handle what comes next with the children but I really want to be able to pick up some work again and just work from home but in the meantime, while I'm looking, which that part has been stressful too, because the job market, oh my goodness, the job market is horrific. Like it's to the point now that I am just going down my contacts and con you know calling a lot of my former colleagues and just old friends and like, hey, you know, what's, what, where are you at? What's going on you know, with your job? Y'all hiring? What's the pay? All of that benefits, et cetera because it just seems like I've been applying to so many jobs on Indeed and nothing has come of it. I just keep getting all these automatic rejections. And then LinkedIn, I see that they're viewing my profile. I see that they're, um, some of them are viewing my resume, but no calls. And then when I do get the calls, it's from people who I don't even want to hear from. I didn't even apply with you. <laughs> Which is not bad because sometimes there it can be an opportunity there, but it's a lot of like these 1099, 100 percent commission. No, mm -mm. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay, I want me a steady income. I want to know when I'm getting paid. <laughs> I, I just I can't do it. I mean I can, but it depends. It depends. But anyways, y'all. I've been out driving around this evening. I cooked dinner for the family. I ate with the kids. We had a good time. And then I told my husband, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go get out, get out the house. Um, being in the house makes me be in my head a lot. And I don't like it. And it scares me because I, I just become very depressed. I don't know but I'm gonna be okay y'all I'm going to be okay I was listening to my music you know how uplifting music can be oh my goodness like 
it just puts you in a whole nother world. That's why like I'm sitting here cheery with y'all and just joyful, you know, because y'all, when I initially got into this car, I was in my garage, I just broke down and I just sobbed and cried out to Jehovah. I feel, I feel relieved. I feel good. I feel really good right now. But y'all, aside from me going to Sonic, which I thought that I got the cherry lime made slush with my sweet cream, but that was not the case. I, I don't know. They must have gave me the, the soda kind of soda version. I don't know but it's all good the um the people were so nice they're so sweet and i was like i'm not even gonna sweat it because y'all i'm just happy to be out i'm just happy to be free a little bit anyway i went to the beauty supply store that's another thing i've just been feeling so like because of course you know being that i'm at home and again i'm not making any income so you know things are a little bit tighter the budget is definitely tighter and so excuse me that means that i have to cut back on a lot of um you know just different things that i used to be able to do but now i'm going to have to instead of paying for those services i'm going to be that service to myself so with that being said y'all I got me some packs of hair, okay? Which I hope and pray that these packs of hair, it should go with my hair. Yeah, I think it matches the color. Um, so I got me some braiding hair. And then I also got some um, earrings because you know you can never have too many earrings, okay? Like, what? Yeah. So. I'm feeling really good and I'm gonna also I'm gonna do my nails I took off the old ones which those they did pretty well um, I was saying it lasted me for about two weeks I want to say two weeks so I'm gonna um redo my nails and um, do my hair so tomorrow I'm gonna take care of me I'm gonna get me right I'm gonna get me together I also realized too the importance of working out um, not only working out to get in shape because um definitely y'all when i be editing my videos and i go back to look at my videos oh my goodness like y'all be all up in my business and yes i have a double chin mm -hmm. girl i be like man man and girl okay i be like oh my goodness no ma'am you gotta get that under control so not only am i trying to I'm not only going to start working out to lose weight, but I'm also going to start working out to channel whatever negative energy I have pent up, put it into my workout and get it, get it out, get all that energy out. Because I feel like I be walking around carrying my feelings of negativity like it's a purse and we gotta mm -mm. it's time to reclaim our joy our happiness so that's what i'm going to be working on this week monday i'm going to start with doing my my 10 minute workouts so i can just feel better because i feel like between that taking my vitamins getting some uh sunshine say hi <laughs> say hello <laughs> all right y'all so today we are braiding my hair and we're gonna do it ourselves okay that's right, okay? We got that good old Cuban twist, and I've already done section off my hair. And yeah, we're gonna see how far we can get. Daddy, call me. I'm excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Ooh, probably, should I look for a different color? Uh-oh. I don't know, this might work. This might work. But anyways, I hope y'all doing well. I had recorded yesterday and then I recorded yesterday and then my camera cut off because I was out of storage. So I hope y'all understood my message very clearly. But I just want to tell y'all I'm in a much better headspace today. Oh my goodness. 
Like, I feel so relieved. I feel so relieved. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and braid it. Let's see. so hard on myself it don't look that bad okay. all right so this is fun but I definitely see areas where I want to improve already just from doing this one alone so what I'm gonna do is try to wrap the hair around my hair. Let's see. Hey y'all. So I finished up my hair. As you can see, this is what the final results look like. And forgive me y'all, I wasn't able to film as much as I wanted to because this has been a very productive weekend. So I didn't have a lot of time to do the things that I needed to do, but that's okay. I digress. So I just want to show y'all the final look. And yes, I can't believe that I was able to pull this off. Like this is my first time. No, actually my second time doing my own hair. So I'm so excited because honey, hairstyle is who, where? Mm -mm. We're going to save our money and do it ourselves. This year, I'm doing everything myself, okay? Because sis is on a tight budget, okay? Unless something comes through, I really don't have much room to be able to pay for certain services. So, I am in a year of doing it myself. Pretty much, I want to just wrap up the end of the vlog. I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.